upgrade on your Victron energy system via the JW Solar USA. Guys, this is what we've done. A lot of stuff. We already accomplished a lot of stuff here. So um, we get a second charge controller in and uh, we rewire the system and makes it look better. And uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks like on the app, how everything is already linked in or already connected. So we have um, upgraded MPPT120 with a Bluetooth capability. And we have the smart MPP charge controller 5045. And here is the Victron Phoenix Inverter Smart 12 2000 VA with a Bluetooth capability as well. And we have the controller here. What I've done, I put a trunk in and uh, rewired. I got a battery already connected here. The terminals are really small. It's not as huge compared to this one. I use ferrules here. And um, just the solar to come back here. So I set up this system in a way so we can able to get a Victron to connect uh, two arrays on different elevation or different angle. So um, that's why I had the two charge controllers. So I don't know, guys, uh, what you think or um, what's your advice. I don't know. Putting the Victron sideways if it's going to be an uh, effect. I don't know if they can mount them on a sideway or horizontal. Some Yeah, horizontal instead of vertical like this. Tell me what you think, if it's going to cause any problems. Let me know so I can turn this thing over again because I wasn't going to let, it wasn't going to fit right here if I flipped it. So that means the trunk enough to go. Or I have to flip these charge controllers this way, like this one. And doing so, the trunking is going to be right here. But I found I find this uh, really nice to do because I already put some holes on the, um, you know, this uh, kind of looks like a plexiglass. But so this hole here is going to be for the mounting of the system. I have them all over. And I'm going to add some here and on the other side. So I even beef up the, um, on my past uh, previous test, one of these terminals was getting hot for some reason because we were pulling over 100 amps com continuously. And the uh, inverter was already almost max. And um, it's through one more stroke that time we're going to go all the way um, to the max bus bus systems so they're all here and I have the little fuse right here for the shunt connected there that's the one that brings the power to the positive here and the negative of the battery so we have a beefy wire just like this one uh, two hot cable the same thing here Transfer the power to the bosses and from there and um, This guy this um, I think is a H8 gauge here and this guy here is approximately uh, um, 10 10 or 8 gauge as well It's a 10 gauge. So this is a just a 20 amp charge controller so 10 gauge can handle 30 amps, but if you see down there, there's a fuse down here. Is uh, they put it back? The the power that goes back to the battery can surge, can be up to about 25 amps before that fuse blow. So it's not because it's 20 amps. They say it's gonna put back to the battery. It can go more than that. So it has a fuse here that protect it. So here, right there. So, and uh, we have the device connected, and they are all flashing here, the blue. 
can see it. Ready to go. And let's see this one here. There you go. Flashes. And um, what I'm going to show you now, I have the trunking and cover. I can use this one and cover up all these mess of wires to mix it more neat. There you go. What do you think? Everything looks more better. Much better. Everything looks much better. There you go. So tell me what you think with the upgrade. And I'm going to be uh, share the photo with you guys. So I just want to make sure I go this way and get a better shot. So I can give it guys to you on um, the internet. Tell me what you think with this upgrade. And everything is working great. So I'm going to show you the app. How everything is connected. And uh, here we go. Here are all the components we're running right now. Two charge controllers, 120 and 150.45. And this is the inverter, this is a shunt. So any device we connect here, which is a Victron, it will show. If we um, connect the Victron, um, Servo so GX, yes, it's going to appear right here. All right, stay tuned. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA, thanks for watching. So, thing when it goes number two, it's going to go into the terminal log down here and transmit the power all the way. So, each inverter um, wire negative is this one, and this is the main wire that takes a two two gauge wire transmitting the power back to this or maybe if I want I can change this log this wire and give it maybe um, a two hot cable I can do that but this is number two so combining uh, 20 amps here with a 45 that gives us uh, approximately 65 amp hours transmitting back to the battery to the bus here and to this and this one can take, um, let's see, how many amps you can see. This one can go up to about 32 volt and 350 amps. So we can handle that. So that's what I've done. I can upgrade. If I want to upgrade, I can put a beefy wire here to do that. Let's go back to the app. Since I already have the knob here, so by turning it to two, it turns on both charge controllers and have, if I turn it to one here it's gonna all only power the Victron Phoenix if I just want to do that I'm doing maintenance on this I can switch this one to number one instead of turning off the shutting off the system completely I can just switch it to number one and the inverter is gonna be running and this guy's already dead that time okay I can work on these guys so um, like an upgrade, I want to remove this one, I want to remove this and add another one, or whatever I want to do, connecting PV, I can just put it to one, and um, the inverter, the inverter turns on, and two for the charge controller, one and two, that gets the um, the inverter and the charge controllers, Simultaneously, this is what I want to show you.